Hey guys, just a quick one today. Layer masking in Adobe Photoshop versus Affinity Photo using just a paintbrush. Okay, so we've got Adobe Photoshop Affinity Photo open with the same image, and this is just a demonstration really of how both software packages are very similar. So there's two ways of doing this. We've got the new modern way, which is to select the object selection tool in Photoshop and just draw a rectangle over the desired area. On this particular image, because the background is mainly blue, it, it's quite accurate at um, selecting just the draft. Okay, so now if we were to do the same in Affinity Photo, we would use the, the selection brush tool. Right. So with this one, it's worked slightly different. You just loosely draw over the areas you want to select. And again, because it's on the blue background, it's uh, nice and simple. But should this be a bit more complex and we want to uh, do it by hand, we can use the paintbrush tool. And uh, they both work exactly the same. Um, right, in Photoshop, if we was to do this freehand, so that we want to do it by brush because it was on a more complex background and the selection tool didn't work, you could create a layer mask and then hit B for brush, hit the key D which sets the color palette to default which is white and black as you can see on the left hand side here under the mouse. Right, there's a simple rule for masking and that's white reveals and black conceals. So anywhere we don't want to show we would use the black color and then we just paint over the non wanted area. Let's part of this brush to about 80% to match what we'll soon be doing in Infinity Photo. So, right. Just using the arrow keys to resize the brush as well. Yeah, just going to do this very loosely freehand. Pay too much attention to the accuracy here, it's just a quick demo. If you're doing a proper job, I'd expect it to take a bit longer. Okay, so that's done on the draft in Photoshop. Now, for Affinity Photo, it is literally exactly the same. You've even got the same keyboard shortcuts. So we'll just unlock that, click the layer mask tool again, hit B for brush. Yep, same as Photoshop. And you've got the palette on the top right here. And it's again, it's white reveals and black conceals. So we'll select the black color, and then we'll just paint over the paintbrush. I'm personally becoming a big fan of Affinity Photo because it does everything Photoshop does and it's a one-off fee of £50 rather than the monthly subscription that Adobe requires. Obviously if you get the full Adobe Creative Suite package it's £50 a month so it's a great place to start. I'd probably fully switch if I didn't need Adobe for my print business. So Hopefully Affinity Photo will uh, creep into the print business in the future with some plugins for some of the hardware we use and then bye bye Adobe. Uh. 
Hmm? Is that up again? Am I there? Right. The brush a bit larger, and again, it's the same keys as Photoshop, which is the uh, arrow keys next to the P, the letter P that is. And voila, that's it. Just a quick demonstration of literally carbon copy of Photoshop that is Affinity Photo with a few minor improvements. Something about Affinity that just feels a bit nicer and lighter. It's hard to pinpoint what it is, but um, yeah, maybe download the trance and see what you think. Happy uh, designing.